Hey, this is uh, John from uh, a Asians, and I'm here with uh, John Chung, California State Treasurer, and I have a few minutes of his time. Uh, thanks for agreeing to speak uh, with a Asians, and um, I just wanted to ask you about what the latest update is uh, on your race for governor of uh, California. Hey, John, it's great to be with you. We just had a great event with uh, Assembly Member Evan Lowe. Uh, Evan had an extraordinary showing. Uh, 81 tables, uh, incredibly diverse, uh, supporting his great work. So I'm happy to be here in the Silicon Valley uh, supporting Evan. And uh, I know a few uh, weekends ago was the California State Democratic uh, Party Convention, and uh, there was some, I, I think, pretty um, optimistic news uh, regarding uh, the state of your race. I was wondering if you could uh, give us a, an update. Yeah, we continue to make uh, extraordinary progress. Uh, at the state convention, we came in second, uh, had a very healthy showing, showed that we had extraordinary grassroots support. Uh, this party, the Democratic Party, isn't gonna be controlled by you know a select few who wanna pick a chosen, a chosen one and throw in uh, you know millions of dollars. Uh, this party, uh, the voices, people who care about healthcare, who care about great education for every student who care about high, de high quality jobs uh, so that people have a quality standard of living uh, spoke. Uh, and so we're really excited about my decades of service fighting to make sure that we create a state of social inclusion and upward economic mobility. Uh, recent polls, uh, we were in second or tied for second. Uh, uh, and so this is gonna be a, uh, a race uh, to the photo finish uh, and the election's only 80 plus uh, 80 something days away. Yeah, I heard uh, 79 uh, days, I think, this, this evening. So I was wondering, um, between now and uh, June, uh, and maybe you can remind me when uh, the primary date is here in California, uh, what, what's your uh, strategy and plan to, uh, to really uh, uh, get uh, your name out there? Uh, so uh, election day is June 5th. Uh, we're gonna continue to communicate to the voters. Uh, we're demonstrating the work. Uh, I've always done the good work, but didn't worry about making sure that that information is uh, spread uh, to the voters of California, to the residents of California. Uh, I think what separates my work from the others is first of all, uh, fighting on the issues that are critical to all Californians. We know that too many Californians uh, live with housing challenges. Uh, Price uh, is too much to bear for too many Californians, uh, resulting in the fact that one in every five Californians lives in poverty. And so my record on housing is different than the others. If you're looking at who is the first statewide elected official uh, in the United States of America at the state level to take on Wells Fargo and challenge them on their practices that take on low income individuals, that challenge immigrants, that challenge veterans, that challenge people of color, I stood up. Uh, people want to have their voices, their values fought for. And so we're gonna highlight that work to all the communities uh, in the last uh, 79 days. Oh yeah, I had, met, I had heard that uh, the Wells Fargo CEO was getting like uh, a big uh, pay raise or bonus. Um, uh, that kind of uh, did not uh, make me too happy. <laughs> so. So I was, I was wondering, uh, I mean, as a former state uh, controller and now treasurer, what some of the measures uh, you took uh, in with regards to uh, Wells Fargo or regarding some of their uh, um, practices, which were uh, later found to be, uh, let's say, not so consumer friendly. John, you just mentioned it. Uh, it was announced last week that he received a multi-million dollar bonus uh, yet we see Wells Fargo still engaging in terrible practices. Uh, what we did uh, uh, over a year ago is that I uh, terminated, uh, suspended their three most profitable lines of business with the state of California. I also called for the resignation of their corporate governance uh, committee board members. Uh, six of the seven uh, after this next election cycle will no longer uh, be serving on that board after uh, their current term. I want to make sure that seventh one is also gone, right? Because you can't have decades plus practice of uh, improper behavior. Uh, they're supposed to be doing the right thing. In fact, when pe people and families are especially financially challenged during very difficult times, they ought to stand up and serve their customers. 
uh, serve their consumers, making sure that they're getting the services they need instead of preying upon them at the, when they're at very uh, vulnerable places in their lives. Uh, I know your time is quite limited, so just uh, any final last words uh, to the voters of California? Uh, please support the campaign. Uh, we're doing incredibly well, whether it's volunteering, whether it's uh, joining us on uh, social media, whether it's uh, making contributions. Uh, you know, we take it three dollars up. Uh, every contribution helps us in our ability to communicate the values uh, that we are fighting for. Again, fighting that uh, California recognizes the importance of every single individual. Taking on President Trump when he wants to discriminate discriminate against immigrants, when he wants to pull back on access to health care, when he's not going to fund infrastructure, not going to help California build more housing. We need leadership that recognizes uh, this state is the aspirational state. We still want this uh, to be the state where people come here and uh, their dream for California is synonymous with the American dream. Thank you, John, for your time, and I look forward to hopefully seeing you uh, in Northern California in the near future. Happy to see you again, John. Be well. Thanks a lot.